<laughs> yeah. So what are we seeing here? Yeah. We're about to see augmented reality. Augmented reality has been a major theme for SRI for many, many years. And in fact, uh, in Princeton, some of our earliest work was for called Pil Princeton Electronic Bulletin Boards, which created the kind of um, augmented reality that you see in football games, advertisements on walls, things of that nature. So let me introduce you to the team that helped make that happen. This is Teddy Kamar. Teddy is hey. the director of that activity. Supun, yeah. who's going to show you a demo today. Right. Jayan. Okay. And also, the, from which all good things happen, this is Bill Mark. He's the vice president of the Information Computing Sciences Division. Where this, by the way, and also uh, other type of ventures like Siri and, and Nuance and others have come from that division. Very cool. Cool. Well, let's uh, sit down and see a demo. So what is this that you're wearing? So basically, this is a helmet with a camera on top, yeah. right? And what we are doing is we are going to take the video from the camera, and I'm seeing it here, but in addition to the, just the video, we are going to augment it with other stuff. Okay. That's not really there. All right. So... Teddy, do you want to uh, set it off? And you just have a standard old laptop in here? Yeah, Teddy. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah, this is a standard Dell laptop, so this is just a... And what are you... Uh... Not the right window, Teddy. This one? No. So, just so you know, what we're setting up here is a mechanism whereby he's uh, looking at the environment. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to reset the environment to say this is the environment within which we will do uh, augmented reality. Yeah. And that's why there's a space over here. Tab. And what will what uh, uh, Supun and Terry are trying to do here is say, okay, once I've set it up, uh, we can insert uh, artificial characters into the environment. Okay. And then once you have the artificial characters into the environment, the big challenge is how do you move around the environment with those objects or those people uh, looking as real as they possibly can and what, within that environment. What would this be for, like a training what, exercise or something yeah, like that? So let me explain. The background of this is originally uh, U.S. government yep. uh, defense. And so what's been done is people have put together uh, 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 simulations of what they might experience, such as in Iraq or Afghanistan. Yeah. And in fact, some of the equipment that you're about to see are people willing, wearing military equipment. In these simulations, you get the full effect as if in this environment, another individual is here, such as, say, a terrorist. Yeah. And that terrorist is moving around and so forth. And as long as you're wearing these glasses, you will not only see your, the environment through those glasses, just as it is right now, but you also see what's inserted into uh, there, and you can therefore see uh, a virtual environment that includes the terrorists, for example, together in this room. Yeah. Okay. So what did the technology have to do? Did it have to map this room and so that it can effectively put a virtual character here? Yeah, so what is this? So uh, what we do is with, with, with the camera, we can move around and build a map of the environment. And then as you wear the camera, then you move around, it automatically matches to that. And then we have a game engine which can place characters in the scene, and you can interact with them. Yeah. And what, do you think this can be privatized it, in any way? Or? Okay, so exactly the right question. And as, as we'll have uh, talked Certainly about... Certainly for training, like firefighting or police or right. military, that kind of stuff. Right. But or even customer support, maybe. <laughs> exactly. Or, <laughs> in fact... A gate agent at United mm -hmm. Airlines or something, and well, have to deal with somebody. <laughs> exactly. Or you you want to see yourself, uh, you know, wearing a new set of clothes, or you want to play golf with Tiger Woods, or you want to um, uh, go to the moon. And and uh, but and we're already seeing some of the eBay just came out with an app that lets you wear different glasses and see what like a a different Oakley glass would look like on your face. Right? Exactly. So the, there's a huge amount of um, commercial aspects of this. Well, the, the big app, the biggest app is, of course, it frees you from the tyranny of, of being in front of your TV. Yeah. Now you can play video games in your backyard. Mm -hmm. You can go anywhere and... 
Absolutely. Now I see a Microsoft Connect system. What are you using uh, that for? That's not for this demonstration. That's for the next one. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. In this demonstration, everything which we're doing is just running on this backpack yeah. with, with a laptop. Uh, and you'll and you'll be able to wear this later if if you'd like, okay. and, and 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 you'll see it on your display. Okay. And what, exactly what he's seeing, you'll see on that monitor. All right. Cool. Uh, we, we'll have it up in a second or two. No, no problem. How much code is running on the backpack? <laughs> it's a lot of code. It's it's a lot of processing which we've done. We we demonstrated the system uh, for the military, for the Marines at Camp Pendleton, yeah. and for the Army at Fort Benning, and these are projects which we're doing with them. Uh, for helping people train. Right now, when they train, they have to hire a lot of role players, uh, and it's co costly to hire a lot of role players, yep. and this allows you to have the computer generate the role players. Also allows you to train anywhere, because whatever you train with, you wear. And then you can you can train right near the battlefield instead of coming back home or at the home station. Yeah. How many different role players can it show? At one time, like in this, can I uh, put ten terrorists in this room? That's right. Can I only that's have right. One and, or two? Uh, uh, yeah, you can have ten, and you can also have civilians. Okay. Right. And yeah. what? Tell me about the technology that's that you guys developed, and what was really difficult about. So the 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 big thing is you, when you do this technology, you're wearing this on head-mounted displays, and your heads can move really rapidly, right? And the objects must appear very static. So you see the ten yard line in in in, in football, yeah. and it, it's augmented. It augments the scene. The camera can pan around, and you see the ten yard line in the static. Now we're doing the same thing with helmet mounted camera. Then you can walk around. You can walk around the object in 3D. Look at it from the front. Look at it from the back, and uh, you can see that it looks very static with respect to it. Yeah. The other thing which we're not showing uh, today over here uh, is we also do occlusion reasoning. So you have the weatherman. Uh, the weatherman stands in front of the green screen, yeah. uh, and uh, and now you can see the weather behind the weatherman. Here we do the same thing, but uh, with stereo cameras. We're just showing you a monocular version today, but we also have back home a stereo version. Okay. And, and, and that allows you to do occlusion reasoning. The avatar can go in front of people and occlude them, or people go in front of the avatar and occlude them. Interesting. Can, what's the complexity of an object that can be in a room? Can, can you train somebody to do a bomb disposal? That's for right. That, that's how. That's that's the motivation by which the military is funding us for. Yeah. How to handle uh, 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 when IEDs happen, how to do those kinds of situations. So, yeah. just to be clear, almost all of SRI uh, innovations start with something that's government funded. Yeah. And uh, and and clearly, there's a great use in the government. But that's not our ultimate market. Oh, our ultimate yeah, market is obviously to make those uh, devices that no laptop on your back, you know, no helmet on your head, but instead just a pair of glasses, perhaps going back wirelessly to a server and being able to instantaneously see these views. The, the technology that developed the uh, yellow line on, in football games right. that we see, right. what was that technology originally developed for? That, that was originally developed? Uh, for, originally developed for baseball games, actually. The first time we ever showed it. So it didn't it, have a military uh, no, start. No, that's okay. right. It, it, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was started by an ex-vice president of Sarno for that time. Yeah. And the first time we ever did it was in uh, 1994 for the Baltimore Orioles game. It was the first game on April 1st. And I was there at that stadium. We were setting up the technology to demonstrate it. And I remember having to argue with the groundskeeper because I wanted to put some black tape on the baseboard to make the lines appear better. And that was a very proud thing for the groundskeeper to let me put, bra put the black tape. But we uh -huh. did, and that was the first time we ever demonstrated it. But the, again, the original technology, actually that, that use of the technology was not uh, uh, done for the military, yeah. but the original technology for looking at stabilization, for looking at target recognition in terms of what, what the uh, image is that you're seeing, and inserting information and stabilizing. Right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. but, but after that, we didn't. I see when you see the uh, ten yard line in football, there's no black yeah. tape or anything. That was right in the beginning when we started. Yeah. We were just trying to accentuate the lines, but then the technology improved and. It's now you, you've been seeing the ten-yard line for years. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. But this is uh, amazing now when, when you see this because now in the stadium the cameras are fixed, yeah. but now you can move around freely. Okay. You can wear it. You can move around freely. Wow. Okay. Okay. So cool. I think where we'll are we on this? Demo and come because something's not. All right. Okay. We, we,